there is a massive glowing blob in the universe and a mystery source is lighting this up. And no one knows what is powering this thing. Astronomers discovered a vast glowing blob of gas in the distant universe and they cannot figure out what is actually lighting this. This glowing nebula is located at the center of the enormous protocluster of early galaxies some 10 billion light years from our Earth. It's the brightest cosmic object of its kind ever found and yet there's no obvious source of its power. Now we know that we may learn more about the universe and cosmology when the James Webb telescope starts running because it also records in infrared things that we can't see that are lit up. Now here this object, no one knows what's powering this. The object is called an enormous Lyman Alpha Nebula, Elan for short, A-L-A-E-L-A-N, -A -A Elan for short. It's not only the brightest object of its kind found in the universe, it's also one of the biggest rivaling even the Slug Nebula, which stretches two million light years away through intergalactic space. Now it's extremely bright, they said. It's probably larger than the Slug Nebula, but there's nothing else visible except the faint smudge of a galaxy. This is what one of the team members, J. Javier Prochaska from University of California Santa Cruz says. He says, so it's a terrifically energetic phenomenon without an obvious power source. Only a handful of elans have been discovered so far, and these accumulations of gas are thought to be part of a network of filaments that connect neighboring galaxies to each other in the vast cosmic web of the universe. And you can watch the video before this one. There are more uh, uh, concerning the filaments, the giant structures uh, found throughout the universe, and of course, the way that the uh, galaxies are spaced and placed on their planes. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. While other elans appear to be powered by the intense radiation given off by quasars, star formation, or supernovas, no such events could be found near this latest example, dubbed the Mammoth One Nebula. So what we do know is that the light has uh, the same wave wavelength that's absorbed and emitted by hydrogen atoms as they cool down, a discharge known as Lyman Alpha radiation, but it's not clear what's been heating them up. And scientists have suggested that supermassive black holes swallowing matter in galaxies within the central region of the blob could be responsible. The Mammoth One Nebula was found by a survey called Mapping the Most Massive Overdensities Through Hydrogen, or Mammoth for short, and that's why it's called Mammoth One Nebula, which was also responsible for finding the Slug Nebula back in 2014. So you see that a lot of these nebulas have been recently found. The protocluster it's found in is massive, hosting an unusually high concentration of galaxies in an area of about 50 million light years across, all bound together by gravity. While the galaxies are now mature, our telescopes are only just seeing them as they would have looked a mere 3 billion years ago after the Big Bang, a peak of galaxy formation in our universe. Now, what was our galaxy three million years ago, three billion years ago? And you can understand how the evolution of life and uh, geology uh, and chemistry has uh, taken place. Anyway, going back to this, several hypotheses have been put, put forward. How the Mammoth One Nebula at the heart of this great protocluster goes so bright, but the most likely ones revolve around radiation or discharges coming from something called an active galactic nucleus, AGN for short. AGNs are compact regions in the center of galaxies that have a much higher than normal luminosity. The team explains that AGNs are powered by a supermassive black hole actively feeding on gas in the center of a galaxy and are known for being extremely bright sources of light. The intense radiation emitted by, by AGNs ionize the hydrogen gas in the space around it, and this could prompt the ELNs to emit super bright Lyman alpha radiation. 
Quasars, the brightest objects in the universe, are known for being the most luminous AGNs in visible light, except the Mammoth One Nebula is not associated with a quasar, as far as researchers can tell. But that does not mean there isn't one lurking in the background. Prochassa says, it has all the hallmarks of an AGN, but we don't see anything in our optical images. I expect there's a quasar that is so obscured by dust that most of its light is hidden. The team has its work cut out for it, trying to spot a single quasar some 10 billion light years from Earth. And until then, the brightest known Elon will remain a cosmic mystery. The research has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal, and this was on Science Alert. It's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.